Hey everybody, Sir Tap Tap here for our weekly little update session. So, first of all, Abyssrium and Parker making noise in the background. Um, Abyssrium updated to version, I think version 1.7.9 is the correct one. Uh, it finally fixes the vitality production, there we go, in the freshwater tank. So it's actually possible to like progress. So um, you might notice initially when you download it that like prices change and like some people are like, oh no, the, the price actually, my vitality production actually decreased. And uh, that's actually fine because what you'll find as you go through is that when you cast skills, they're a lot more valuable now. And um, for instance, boop. And more importantly, oh, I, I can't quite get to the next level to show you, but they increase the rewards from uh, upgrading the Coralite. Um, to the point where it's like, I'm getting like 29 times vitality once I finally get this upgrade thing. Uh, shame I can't quite show it. Just barely short of being able to show you. But, um, I've been making pretty crazy progress and unfortunately, there's one bad thing still. Um, the level of the coral and coralite max out in freshwater and I don't know why. But coral levels out and max at level 3000, which is pretty low, so I wouldn't recommend maxing them out because you still want to be able to do your daily missions. You can still do the daily missions in salt water, so even if you max these all out, you can. It's still okay, but like, you know, it's easier to upgrade the freshwater ones in my opinion. Um, but yeah, the vitality curve is basically fixed. It might look worse at the very start, but trust me, once you cast the skill and upgrade your core light, um, you'll be impressed how far you go. The bad news is that um, the albino alligator still requires 5,000 skill casts, and so does... Uh... Wait, no, is that the only one I'm missing? Yeah, it is. Uh, that one still requires 500 skill casts. I forget which one, but basically that means 500 adds. <laughs> I've been running a macro to do that, and I'm still like 300 skill casts behind, I think. Uh, 200, or 200, yeah, I'm still only, I'm, you know, I'm pretty fast considering I'm using a macro. But if you're not using a macro, it'll probably take like a really long time. It's not fun. I, again, search search tap tap Nox player if you want to find out how I do the macro stuff. It's really, it's pretty simple and it really helps a lot. You can do it on PC or Mac. That's all you need. It really, it really helps with some of the stupider requirements. Um, so I'm a little bit scared that once we the, the core light maxes out at five thousand five hundred, which I'm gonna get to pretty soon. Um, I don't know exactly what happens there. I feel like fresh water is still kind of unfinished, but you can at least get to the end. You can at least make Nessie now. Um, I'll do a video showing off all of the fish later on. I usually do that kind of, you know, show all the fish thing. Uh, I'll do that as soon as I get Nessie. You can make more than one Nessie, which is great news. It's not quite like the, um, the Kraken and stuff. You can make more than one. Um, but yeah, the Pikakuru I don't have because you have to have all of the hidden fish except for Nessie to get it, so it's a shame. But um, I'll be able to make a, quite a few fish once I get this. But the reason I haven't is because eventually I won't be able to make more fish. And that's somebody said like, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I want to make like 5,000 guppies or, you know, whatever. That's kind of a problem in freshwater. Unless the price for the fish caps, which I have no particular reason to believe it does, um, it'll eventually become basically impossible to keep making fish because of how it works. But like I said, I, it feels like freshwater is unfinished. Also, they reduced, drastically reduced the, the times for the price. I think the way it used to work is that when you upgrade the skills, the time it, it takes to recharge got way bigger. And I think they removed that feature. The Lotus of Life is still useless garbage though because it doesn't reduce this, the uh, ad watch recharge. So basically buy it once for visuals and otherwise ignore it. The Singing Snail is actually really good though. And again, the Breath of Life is not it's not an artifact. It's not really a passive upgrade. It's a temporary thing. It's basically Spirit of Life, but way more expensive. So just ignore it. Pretend it doesn't exist. So that's pretty much everything that's going on in Abyssrium. So let's take a pop on over down to Food Fantasy Land, where there is two events, plus there's actually another event coming up. Um, this Udon is coming. Let me just, like... I guess close the game and get back in. Um, this the udon is a new skill or a new food soul that's being added, and it's going to be a summoning event for her. So I think I'll be summoning. I'll I'll do a stream when udon comes, which 
Oh, there's so many things going on. So let's just go down the list. So full moon's harvest. Basically, if they get 500 or 5,000. Oh, I thought it was 500. If they get 5,000 shares for their Facebook post or something, everybody on every server will get the Moonscake skin, Moon Rabbit. I think, I think they usually hit these goals. Um, so I don't usually use, I don't usually bother using Facebook, but I'm pretty sure to get that. I'm so sorry for the flashing. I don't know why it does that on Knox. Uh, it only does that when we're recording too, which is extra annoying. But yeah, springtime. So that's the springtime event. I already have a video on the springtime event, so we can ignore that. Um, I'm not dumb. <laughs> SR Udon uh, added to the summoning pool, so I don't know what type of soul Udon is. Um, there's always there's spoilers from the Chinese server for everything, so if you really want to find out what Udon is ahead of time, you can look that up. Um, there's also the Harvest Season event going on, which Labakongi is extremely good. Um, I don't know why I hadn't heard more about her. Uh, I think she's actually, personally, I think she's better than Sweet Tofu. Um, I leveled up her skill to the same thing as Sweet Tofu, and if you're using her linked skill, she actually heals for a bit significantly more than Sweet Tofu with his unlinked skill. And she links with Toso, who's a really good unit, so it's practical to use her linked skill. It is not practical to use Sweet Tofu's linked skill because his link sucks. Uh, salty tofu was pretty bad. So I think Labakongi is actually extremely good. I'm surprised if you don't have sweet tofu I would definitely try for this event to get uh, Labakongi. She's really good um, And it's very very practical to summon her and like, you know, get a couple of stars for her just from this event um, And yeah during the once Udon is added, I guess I'll be streaming. Oh dang, tomorrow. <laughs> These events are so rapid fire, and it's like, I've been trying to stream a little bit less because of the frustration with Medicom, but I guess I'll stream for that because we'll do some pulls for Udon. During event, get Naruto Maki. Is that is that Naruto's son? Is that the new Naruto series? Believe it! Yeah. Uh, exchange Naruto Maki for Udon shards and other items. Once the event ends, success in the room, Mikey can only be used. Okay, so it's just like, um, it's just like the, uh, gingerbread thing, which that was really cool, where you could get the chocolate shards. Hopefully Udon's a little bit better than chocolate. Chocolate, I really like chocolate visually, but he's, he's unfortunately not very good. I mean, it depends when you get him. I got him really early, and I got him two-star, and he brought me through a lot of the early levels, but, uh, once you get, like, Sanma and, uh, B-52, stuff like that, He's not as good. Vodka, moon cake. Anyway, let's hop into... Let me show you Labakongi real quick here. Um, Labakongi... There's... She's on the main screen. Um, Labakongi's heal is really good. She's basically milk plus a little bit of uh, sweet tofu, and she clears uh, debuffs. Her basic skill clears debuffs, which is great, and heals everybody for a little bit of HP. Um, and her link skill does a huge instant burst of healing plus a smaller burst of heal over time and um, It does a little bit more than sweet tofu if you're doing a linked it does a little bit more than sweet tofu Which is pretty great and she's the best for um, She's great for the disaster boss because it debuffs your team So you'll actually deal more damage with her than sweet tofu like guaranteed so that's pretty cool so I'll be updating my guild guide on the for the disaster boss thing for that too. Uh, she's very practical to get. Uh, I've been spamming delivery orders all day, and uh, you can buy. You can also go to the shop, and one of the most worth it things for gems, in my opinion, is getting the black beans. Um, don't get too many because you also need other ingredients for the for the summoning thing. But um, if you buy two sets of black beans for 5, 500 crystals total, not 5,000, 500. Um, you can basically guarantee her getting her, even if you barely do deliveries. Um, I'm definitely, I'm pretty much on the way to like two-starring her, and I only bought two sets of the, uh, of the beans. Think about those beans. <laughs> anyway, if you want, if you want to see, um, me doing some more of that event, um, I actually streamed last night, or, yeah, uh, or no, Friday, I streamed uh, some of this, so check out the streams. All of my streams are posted as vi videos on demand, so you can always watch any of my streams that you miss, um, and you can even see the, the chat over on the side, so it's pretty cool. Check those out if you haven't. Um, so, that's Food Fantasy and Abyssrium done. Um, 
I've been pretty busy, but I've got a bunch of games that I want to check out. Um, so I'm going to be start recording more of uh, a lot more Let's Plays soon, hopefully. Um, I'm going to. I got a couple I plan to do today, so that'll be fun. Um, hmm. Looking forward to Spyro, but that got delayed, so I'll be streaming Spyro when it comes out. I have an event scheduled already. Um, oh, oh, importantly, October is Spooktober, so every weekend we're going to be trying to stream some Yumi Nikki style games. Um, not like straight up horror games for the most part. Um, I would say Silent Hill is the most like horror that we would do. Probably won't do Silent Hill because I'd have to get like an emulator working. But uh, more of that surreal like disturbing stuff like Yumi Nikki than like, oh, it's public quarters time. Um, more of that surreal stuff than, um, you know, just straight up alien popping out to eat your face and stuff. Um, so if you don't like jump scares, it'll be more of a Halloween stream for you. Um, it was it was a real blast to do stuff like that before. And if you have suggestions for Halloween games, um, stuff like Will You Ever Return, Yumi Nikki, uh, Space Funeral, that kind of uh, surreal stuff. And stuff like um, Mad Father and um, Ib. That was what it was called. It was called Ib, right? Yeah, um, stuff like that is welcome too. Like RPG Maker Horror is a genre that I really would never would expect it to be good, but it's actually some of my favorite games. So, if you have stuff like that to suggest, and I have a big, I have a list of stuff to play too, um, but feel free to suggest that. More traditional horror games you can kind of leave at home. I, I'm not too interested in those for uh, the purposes of this. <laughs> I, I played one more traditional horror game, and like half of the stream left. I did a big Halloween stream. Uh, I think it was 2006 where it was like eight hours long and uh, that's on my YouTube if you want to watch that you might have to watch it in you know a few segments but uh, that was a blast so Medicom still giving me grief I'll have them take a look at my stuff um, this week so hopefully it'll be less disrupted also um, on Saturday what is it? Saturday the 6th of October we're going to be doing the patron live stream where all of my patrons can call in um, Usually we have maybe five to ten people, um, but if you're not a patron now, you can go right now to patreon.com slash tap tap. There's a link in the description. Um, pledge even just a buck, and what we do is we get a voice chat call in uh, where all the patrons can chat, and we play Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, and... Um, you know, not everybody's favorite game, but the thing about Amiibo Festival is just a chill board game, and there's not a lot going on, which, you know, a lot of people complain it's boring, but the thing is, that allows us to chat a lot more, and allows us to just kind of simply be like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go left, I'll go right, and uh, it just lets everybody play without, uh, you don't have to have a copy of the game, you don't have to connect to anything but the voice chat, and just watch the stream, and uh, it's really fun. So... So we'll be doing that noon my time, so six hours before the usual stream. Uh, yeah, there'll be a link in the description to that stream with a countdown so you can tell exactly when it's going to be. Um, I'll ping all the patrons in Discord pretty soon for, uh, well, next week. We'll, I'll ping you all, and uh, we'll, we'll get scheduled and see who's coming and whatever. Um, but yeah, if, you ha if you're not a patron yet, it's not too late. You can sign up. Anybody that's a patron before the Saturday itself uh, is eligible to join. I mean, heck, if you, if you sign up and, like, actually manage to operate chat, like, a couple of hours before, I can probably fit you in, but, like, don't intentionally make it painful <laughs> for us. Um, but, yeah, that should be real fun. October, Spooktober stream should be real fun. Um, that's pretty much it. Food Fantasy is going really rapid fire with these events. I, I was kind of hoping to not do so many videos and get to some other stuff. But uh, it's been a fun game. And uh, the Abyss and Freshwater update, just to kind of poke back to that a bit. Oops. Oh no, why is it having problems? There we go. <laughs> Recording Nox is a little fishy sometimes. But um, yeah, the, the Freshwater update, it, it's been cool except, um, I mean, it's been really buggy. But it seems to be mostly fixed now. So I'm looking forward to finishing that up. Oh, and on my dead phone saga, so the $30 phone has been pretty good, actually. It plays all of my games. It plays Star Ocean I can't really play. It, it runs at, like, half speed. 
And like, you know, I, I wouldn't want to play online with it and I just I, I play it on Nox instead on my PC. But um it plays Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, it plays Abyssrium, it plays Food Fantasy, it plays everything. Uh, it's a little bit laggy. I mean, it's a $30 phone. You can't expect amazing performance, but it's, for what it is, I'm very impressed. And uh, I'm almost tempted to not get a new phone, but my problem is I don't have like a regular camera. So I depend on having a good phone camera to get good pictures. So I'm still going to get a Pixel 3, but... Um, if I didn't play phone games and if I didn't, if I had another camera, I would be pretty tempted to just stick with this phone. I'll do a review of the phone when I have like a camera that I can record the phone with. But uh, it's it's an Alcatel bunch of numbers. It's on Straight Talk sells it. It's uh, or not Straight Talk Track Phone. I used to use Straight Talk. Now I use Track Phone. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty legit. So. That's pretty much that's pretty much the week. Um, hopefully, we're gonna do more let's plays and stuff soon. It's some quick pre-recorded videos. I kind of want to get back into that. I've been so I've been busy with everything, and streams have been frustrating. But I'll get MediaCon to take a look at that. Um, thanks for watching, as always. See you next week, and hope to see you in the streams. I I guess I got a stream tomorrow. I got a stream next Saturday. And we got Spooktober streams all next week. I don't know if I'm going to stream this weekend unless there's some particular reason to do so. Uh, just so I can catch up on other stuff like I did this weekend. But uh, stream tomorrow. So, I mean, you got that going for you. Oh, tap, tap out. Look at that wiggly plumbus of a, of a hippo. <laughs> I guess it just completely crashed through the core light. <laughs> but whatever. Well, signing out.